Let's talk about compound volume. So just like compound area, compound volume is when I take two or more shapes and I smush them together and I want to find the whole thing. I want to find the entire volume. So let's talk about it. I feel like I should write something before going back into just doing it, but let's just do it. Okay, so here's an example of a compound shape. I have a cylinder and I have a cone on top of it. It's sideways again because we like sideways things, trying to figure out where it's what, but um, this actually would make more sense maybe if it was upright. So it looks to be like a, I don't know, like a cone with a, or a cylinder with a hat on it. Or if I take a can of soda pop in a, one of those paper cups that are really gross and they're like, and you can't drink a lot out of them, you know, that. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. All right now I redrew this shape and I redrew it in the middle of my page so I could do this half over here and this half over here and then we're going to add up the two parts. So let's just start with the easier part. So let's start with the base here. So the base of this, um, oh whoops, I feel like I need this part too. There we go. Um, so the, this is a um, prism because the top and the bottom are the same, right? They're both circles. So what I'm going to do is figure out the um, area of this and then multiply it by the height, which is 40. So now I called this volume two, which means it's the second part of the volume in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take volume one plus volume two and add them together. Now, this is pi times 10 squared times 40. 10 squared is 100. 100 times 40 would be 4,000. So this is 4,000 pi. Um, and these were all in inches, so it'll be cubic inches. Now let's do the harder part. Last time I taught you that this is the slant height, it's not the altitude. So I need to figure out what the altitude is using Pythagorean theorem. So to find this altitude x, I need to do um, 10 squared plus x squared equals 26 squared. So I need to figure out what that is, so let's do it. Turns out it's 24, I didn't round at all, it just equals 24. So now I can find the volume of part one, which is going to be um, area of the base, or sorry, one third times the area of the base, which is still pi r squared, pi times 10 squared times the height, which is 24. And I get, I don't know, hold on, 800 pi. 24 divided by three is eight, and then 100 times eight would be 800. So yeah, so volume one equals 800 pi. So now the total volume, the whole volume of all of this equals volume one plus volume two, which is going to be 800 pi, oops, cubic inches, plus 4,000 pi cubic inches, which equals 4,800 pi cubic inches. And we got it. So that's how we do it. Let's do a couple more, maybe, maybe at least one more. All right, let's try this one. I redrew it with the back so you can kind of see what's happening here. So I basically have a cube. Um, yeah, like that. <laughs> I have a cube and like a semicircle attached to it. So I don't know. It'll kind of look like this, but not like perfectly like that. But that's the idea. And this isn't even a semicircle. It's more like half of a cylinder. Um, like it's like I took this and I cut it in half and I attach it to the top. It'll look it's kind of like this, okay? But like with that covering that. Ugh, I can't show you. I wish I could. I wish I had it. I wish I had the shape in my house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find again the two separate areas and add them together. So we have to do a little bit of thinking over here because I'm not really sure what's going on, but we'll figure it out. But this side's pretty easy. So we're gonna we're gonna again start with the base over here. So we're gonna say the second volume. Well, um, they, it doesn't matter how we look at this. It could be this is the base and this is the height, or this is the base and this is the height, or even this is the base and this is the height. I don't care. But no matter what I do, I'm going to do 11 times 6 times 12. And I get, I don't know, hold on. Uh, it's 792 cubic inches. So that's done. I did it. Now over here. Um, this is, remember that cylinders have the same base and the same height. <coughs> so if I can find the area of this base and then multiply it by the height, which would be six, because it's the same, like if this is six, then this is six. These are the same. So I need to find the area of this semicircle and then I can multiply it by six. So volume two is going to be the area of the base. So one half of the area of this circle, which is one half base times height. No, 
pi r squared. <laughs> I just said it's a triangle now. Let's do that. Um, one half pi r squared. So pi. The radius is not 17. 17 is not even the diameter. Um, if this is 11 and this is 17, then this would have to be 6, right? Like that adds up to 17 together. So the radius of this is 6. Times the height, which is this depth right here, which is, again, the same thing as the other 6. So, you know, it's going to be fine. So uh, 36 times 3, because half of 6 is 3. 36 times 3 is 90, 100, and I don't know. 108. I did know. I just was afraid. Um, 108 pi uh, inches cubed. So then my total volume is going to be volume 1 plus volume 2 again, which is 108 pi plus 792. Now, since this is a pi and this is not a pi, this is actually a correct final answer. Um, if it hurts you, you can figure out what this is as a decimal. So let me do that. There you go. So we could say it's 108 plus, 92, plus 792, um, 108 pi plus 792 or 1,131.29 cubic inches. So that's the same thing. Um, let me see if there's one more I want to do with you because I, I think these really get repetitive after a little bit. Um, but I, I just want to check. I do. I want to do this one because it's kind of weird, but it's still easy. So um, there's a couple different ways to do this, just like normal, right? I could take the entire big box and just cut out those two little slices, like right here and right here. There's some things missing. Or I could find the bigger box and then add on the little, like, I don't know, the little, like, extra mohawk it's got. I could add that on. Or um, I could just find the area of the base the way it is and multiply it by eight because that's the height. I don't care. Do you care? Great, because I can't hear you. So <laughs> let's do the second way. All right, and now another part of this is kind of, I don't know, another part of this get, that gets kind of tricky is where does the three go? So the three centimeters looks like it's actually on this one, but that doesn't make any sense because it already says it's six. So I use my process of elimination to figure out that it's actually talking about the height and not the width of this. So eh, eh, sometimes it sucks, but it's okay. We'll get there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find, we're just going to maybe like split this part off. So we're going to find the volume of this little piece and the volume of the big piece. So let's find the volume of the big piece. Why not? Um, so volume one is going to be, um, it, it's this is a rectangular prism. So it's going to be 18 times 8 times 12. Like, what is that? I don't know. Great. 1728, of course. And then the volume number two is going to be this little mohawk part. So that's going to be, let's see here. So six by three by how width wide is this? This is eight. So I knew it was eight because it's the same length all the way around. And I just went until I found something. So it's going to be six um, by three by eight, which is a number. How did it turn into 12 squared? <laughs> 144 um, cubic centimeters. So then the whole volume is again, volume one plus volume two, which is 1728 plus 144, which is, is 1872. I almost said the year Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but I don't think this is. <laughs> I know this is not that. I, I'm bad at history, but uh, cubic centimeters. Done. Yes, that was easier than the rest, even though it looked harder. We got this. Okay. Email me if you have any questions. I'll see you in class. Goodbye.